welcome back to my channel. I am doing another tag. Um, if you have any other ideas of what you'd like to see on my channel, just let me know. But I was actually, this is the first time someone has tagged me to do a video. I was tagged by Marissa Roberts. I will link her video of her tag down below and you can check out her channel and give her some love. And I actually met her through the YouTube Mommy Meetup group, so I'm glad to be making some new friends with all of you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. It's called the Super Mom Tag. And the first question is, how many kids do you have and what ages? I just have the one, Little Princess Molly, and she is going to be 20 months. She's right over there. That's why my eye, if you see my eyes going, it's because I'm watching her. She's going to be 20, mo 20 months next week, the 25th. And she will be two in May, so I'm so excited. I'm planning a little Sophia, a little small birthday party for her, so that's exciting. Okay. Do you feel like you have it all together every day? Cleaning, laundry, beauty, etc. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, most of the time, I'm in my pajamas. I do not wear makeup unless I'm, like, doing a video, which I don't always in my videos either. I do not do laundry every day. Sometimes my laundry piles up. I mean, it's just the three of us that I do laundry for, but sometimes it's just like, oh, you know? Everybody has those days where you just don't feel like doing anything, so I'm going to try not to babble. <laughs> when do you make time to shower, day or night? I like showering at night. I've always liked showering at night since I've been able to shower, I guess. <laughs> um... I like to get into my bed clean. I feel like showers at night, I think Mar Marissa said this too, is it relaxes you, it calms you, you know. Molly's gone to bed, so Molly even, I give her a bath before bed, that's part of our routine. So sometimes she actually showers with me, but for the most part I love to shower at night, take an extra few minutes and just go to bed nice, clean and relaxed. Okay. Do you style your hair every day or ponytail it? I ponytail or bun. Um, and I hate to say sometimes I don't even brush my hair. I'm just focused on her, whatever she needs, and I'm always last. Okay. When do you find the time to do your hair and makeup when the kids are awake or asleep? Um, I typically don't do my hair and makeup. I throw it up or my makeup is only if we're going out. Um, sometimes if I'm filming... Um, just like if we have somewhere to go, like a baby shower, some type of an event, but if we're just going to like Target, like absolutely not. Like my pimples, everything's all out for everyone to see. Um, but that doesn't answer the question. So how do I find the time? My husband will watch her. She's pretty good. She loves makeup. So she sits like her vanity is right here. It's in my room. So she sits and pretends while I do mine. So it, now that she's older, it's a lot better. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Okay. Do you work out when I do not work out? My workout consists of chasing Molly around, picking her up, putting her down. I probably should work out to get into some better shape, but I just, I don't. <laughs> okay, what is your household cleaning routine? Do you clean every day? I don't clean every day. I probably should clean every day. Um, I don't really have a routine. I just... Uh, mostly, I mean, it's pretty, our house is pretty clean, but it's mostly my routine every day is like how Molly picking up her toys, if Molly makes a mess, cleaning up after her when she eats and stuff. But for the most part, like, I do the bathroom, like, when I, not when I feel like it, but like, so like today when I woke up, like I would pee, then I like wiped the counters down in the toilet, whatever, change the trash. But then like, I probably won't do that tomorrow, I might do that the next day or... It's always different. Okay. Do you ever get overwhelmed with all the responsibilities as, as a mom? I do. Um, I mostly get overwhelmed with, like, um, Molly. Don't climb that. It's things like that. Like, she's very into climbing and adventure. And, like, if something happens to her, like, I just feel like it's my fault. Um, I get more overwhelmed with things when it's, like, taking her to the doctors or the dentist or stuff. Stuff like that overwhelms me. But for the most part... I think becoming a mom has made me a better person, it's made me more outgoing, it's made me more like just everything for the positive. Being a mom has been really good for me as a person. 
And the last question is, how often do you have alone time, me time, and do you relax? I am a stay-at-home mom, so it's not very often that I have alone time or me time. I did do the me time tag. I will link that down below if you want to check that out. I probably have better answers for you. Um, I mean, I do get breaks, like my husband or my sister-in-law, my mom, my mother-in-law, like they'll want to play with her or watch her. We actually live with the in-laws, so there's plenty of times where I can just sneak away or, you know, come upstairs to our room or living room or whatever and just relax while she's downstairs playing with her grandparents or with her aunt or something. So that's cool, but lately she's in the phase where she just wants mama, mama, mama. So if I sneak away and she turns around and I'm not there, I can hear her downstairs screaming for me. Which, in a way, it makes me feel good because there was a point where if I left the room she didn't care or she went out with her grandparents and then came back it was like she didn't miss me or anything and that used to like really hurt my feelings. But now it's like she only wants me. I don't know what it is like but it just it makes me feel good. Like I feel like, she, like, like my mom says like right now I'm her best friend. She's really like my best friend too so it's a really cool feeling to know that someone like needs you, depends on you, wants you so if I don't necessarily get a lot of me time I don't mind it because I have Molly and she just it's not like when you become a mom, your kids are a burden, you know what I mean? What? Yeah! So, I just, either way, I don't care, you know, I don't need me time. Like, some people need to just get out and go to the target by themselves or, you know, anything. I don't really, um, sometimes I like to get out with my husband, but m more than not, everything we do, we do catered around Molly. So if we're going to go to a restaurant, we go to somewhere that Molly would like. Like, my birthday's coming up. What do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Just do something we can do at Molly. So I want to go to Dave & Buster's or my husband's birthday. Instead of going to, like, a casino or something that we normally would do, we took her to Disney World. So, you know, everything now, I mean, I'm sure not everybody does that, but everything we do, we cater around, like, family and Molly, like, things you can do with kids so that's my me time my me time is with my daughter and I don't know is that weird I don't know I just like to spend time with her and I do have moments where I want some time to myself and that's probably more like taking a shower or having like to be able to go to the bathroom by yourself is kind of actually very rewarding <laughs> But, yeah, other than that, I guess I, I'm probably rambling again. But, yeah, so that's what I do. Um, if you like this tag, then I tag anyone who wants to do it. I don't know who specifically to tag as for moms, but I might just randomly go on here and see who I can tag. Let's see. Okay, so my first mommy friend that pops up on my Facebook is Being Mommy With Style. She's actually Diana. She's in Florida right now for the for the Maker Disney conference thing. And she just posted a picture of her. And I believe it's Shay Carl. So that's exciting. I'm very happy that you got the chance to go to do that. So I'll tag you. I guess I could tag Dana. Um, Miss Diaper D. And... I'll go ahead and also tag Amy, Dream Flight 6000, Dream Flight 6000. I, I mess up everybody's names, but I will link everyone that I tag down below. Um, those are the three who are the YouTube Mommy Meetup, like, creators and helper outers, and they always answer all our questions. So, um, again, I want to thank all the moms I've met through YouTube and through the YouTube Mommy Meetup. It's been a great resource for me. And just like everyone's so nice. So I'm like so excited to see it grow and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Have a great weekend.